how can we encourage a more sustainable commercial environment right now? You know, everything's about let's let's keep the economy going. Let's keep business going. There's got to be a sustainable way to do it. So we lessen our footprint um, in all of our communities. I don't care where you live, landfills, solid waste. These are issues. And so we really have to consider impact at that particular point, whether people are throwing it away or consider the, the process to even be able to make textiles as well. And many much of that is very harsh. It takes up a lot of resources, including water and other things. So, so how can we make sure that as part of a strong economy, supporting businesses, you know, manufacturing even, that we're looking at it from a sustainable lens? And I think caucuses like this encourage um, like-minded people to be able to come together and have those discussions about, okay, what kind of policy measures should we then be be recommending so that at the end of the day we can have a good quality of life but we can also consider the impact that we're having on on the environment when we talk about gently used when we make sure that people donate you have to do it in a way that is responsible as well even donating and recycling must be responsible um, i was in the recycling industry for a number of years who so had a small business that basically recycled various commodities aluminum plastic and glass when you cross contaminate you ruin that opportunity oftentimes to be able to truly recycle items. Clothes is no different. If you have contamination amongst that clothes, for example, bottles and cans with clothes, and I have seen this happen before, the clothes is rendered useless at that particular point. So I think part of what we also have to do is educate and make people aware of, aware of the fact that even our most um, good intention deeds like recycling, donating, repurposing things must be done responsibly or else um, it cannot achieve the goal and, and you know outcome that we want. Um, and it's true that sometimes it might not it might not go off the shelf and so ultimately it will be thrown away and back in the landfill. I think that's really where we need to encourage entrepreneurship um, and innovation in terms of how we can take certain things and reuse it in a way that is not going into a landfill but perhaps repurposing the fabric itself or the material or other things. Uh, there's a lot of research and development that I think needs to go into things like this because the bottom line is, you know, we've got to do better, faster going mm -hmm. forward into the future. And I think uh, that's where the R&D comes into play. I think the innovation comes into play in terms of how we can remake certain things. Uh, even our campaign shirts, for example, we often have many campaign shirts that as you change offices, you ran for a house one day, you run for Senate the next day, you've got more. I've made them into bags. <laughs> I have a whole video somewhere on Instagram where I show you how to make a t-shirt bag. I have sewn um, different fabric over the office I was running for because it was wrong. And I've got people walking around town with little strips of material under my name. And that's because it formerly said the previous office I was running for, but the shirt is perfectly good. And the name, you read the name. So there's different ways that even we can modify our everyday activity to be much more sustainable and responsible. I would bet that if you talk to a number of the individuals on the Republican side, women and men, that there should be and there would be an interest in, you know, the slow fashion caucus. I would bet many of them might do it themselves in terms of, of thrifting or considering their wardrobe. Um, you know, I think we've just got to be intentional in our ask and show that this is an opportunity um, to find some common ground, um, you know, over a topic that's not too controversial, I would hope, right? This is not something where there's strong political lines in the sand. Again, these are opportunities for really us to, to be able to work together. So I would really hope, um, I think it's incumbent in all of us as, you know, the founding members to go out and, you know, extend the offer and the ask to folks across the aisle to to please come on board and and be a part of a part of this. So I do believe caucuses like this give us an opportunity to make sure that people out across the country and even right here in our own neighborhoods understand that every single thing we do has impact mm -hmm. and we can choose it to be positive or negative right now. Even what we put on the morning and the clothes that we wear, we can choose to have a positive impact or a negative one. And I think this caucus is about making those positive choices that will result in good impacts for our environment and really start to mitigate and address um, climate chaos and climate change that we're experiencing across the country and across the globe.